In this video, I'm going to be building this relatively simple stone wall out of XPS foam. Uh, I'm going to be using this mainly for toy photography, but you know, the same thing could be used for just shelf display or shrunk down and used for gaming terrain. So just by watching, all this is going to be pretty self-explanatory. I'm just making some marks here and I'm using a metal ruler to guide the knife in between the marks. Some people don't use a ruler, they just eyeball it. Some people, you know, draw the line across the whole piece of foam. There's many different ways to do this and it really doesn't matter which one you choose. Uh, this is just the way that I do it. Once you have any of the lines cut, I'm just going back in with a dull pencil or, or anything really that's just kind of dull uh, to open the lines up. You just run it right through there and it'll give more separation so when you go to paint it, it'll be uh, more obviously separated. Uh, we're going to do the texture for the whole thing with aluminum foil ball, but you can use a rock or something like that as well. So for this project, I used hot glue just because it's quick and easy and it dries immediately so you don't have to you know, wait 12 hours before you paint the thing. Um, I do use white glue a lot, especially Aileen's Tacky Glue, but uh, for something like this, hot glue is, works just fine. All the paint I've been using so far is just simple craft paint. This is Apple Barrel Craft Smart. It's the cheap kind of watery paint, honestly, that you can find at you know all your local craft stores in America. Anyway, uh, here it's, I just use Walmart or Michaels or uh, Hobby Lobby, something like that. Honestly, the cheaper paint works better than something more expensive like uh, you know paint that's made for canvas. This stuff um, doesn't have as much of a problem applying to foam because foam is it's very porous. So this type of paint it just works really well for this. Here I'm just putting a light gray dry brush over the whole thing to kind of pull everything together. Here 
here I'm just putting a black wash on here this is just paint water and uh, a little bit of dish soap and shout out to black magic craft for that little drop of dish soap i never used to use that it used to just be paint and water and the dish soap definitely makes it work a lot better so we're finished this wall would be great making a few of them you can set them up however you like and uh, for a display or toy photography anything like that i'm going to be trying different types of video this is just a different format and uh, we'll see how these go see you next time